how you doing? I'm Lee Burning with Corgi USA and we're taking a look at the Service Pro 426. The uh, machine capable of doing your 22.5s, 19.5s, 24.5s, up to 26-inch rim and even your small agricultural stuff. We just looked at in the first video the dismounting of a 19.5 and now we're going to take a look at the mounting of it. So first thing I'm going to do assuming you understand the controls from the last video is to get my rim clamp here which can be hung on a wall or a post something this is a new machine so there's not a stand here or anything yet but we recommend so you don't have to do that bending to pick it up in the first video you'll remember that I said to always keep your girlfriend with you so we're doing that I'm going to put the valve or the rim clamp on here at 12 o'clock. Give it a little double hand torque to make sure it's, as we say in Germany, good and tight. Okay. And then I'm going to backspin down to about the 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock position. I'm going to bring my ramp out to the right. This right. I'm going to get plenty far away from the edge of the rim. I'm going to roll up my brand new tire here that we're going with. We're going to loop this tire just like we did when we dismounted. We're going to make sure we get it 360 degrees. This is fresh Murphy soap. I recommend that you cut it 50-50, uh, but no more than 50-50 with water into an empty pail or a different jug. We're going to loop both sides of the tire real well, all the way around. Now I'm going to lower my jaws. I want to get that clamp to come through the hole and grab both beads of the tire. So I start to move this in, and as I do that, and it goes past the first bead, I know I'm gonna have to lean it, but keep my weight on it, just holding it, just a little upward force right here, until I can start spinning the tire up and into position. Once you have it grabbed, put it about 11 o'clock. All right, 12 o'clock will be a little bit too hot. So now I'm going to position my tool arm assembly. You can see it's up in the wrong position. I can rotate it around and lock it. I'm going to bring it all the way to the right to make sure I have ample clearance past the edge of the rim. Once I do that, on the, the double hop, I'm going to lock that down. I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to start bringing it in. You want to be as close as you can. And you want to take it in about an inch, inch and a half. And then we want to rotate that on. You may have to move that out. If not, mount both beads. Bring your tool arm assembly out to the right. Go ahead and put your tool arm assembly up to the next guy. Don't bend down and pick that up. That's too much work. We want to work smarter, not harder. Bring the clamp up to 11, 12 o'clock and remove it and then hang it on your tool caddy or up on the wall, wherever it belongs. That's the Service Pro 426. Thank you very much.